So we all know in today's NBA, three-point shooting is what every NBA team is looking for. If you can't shoot the three ball, you might just see yourself sitting at the end of the bench. So what we're going to be doing today is looking at every NBA's team's best three-point shooter. We're going to take their jump shot to see who has the best one. And I know there's been trades and there's a lot of stuff going on in the offseason, but we're going to just be using what 2K has for us right here. And since this is the roster from play now, so this is what we're going to be using. I know some people won't be there, but it'll be all right. Also, we're going to be going by the rating as you guys can see right here. I believe 2K just keeps this for the past season, how they shot. So if some of these look kind of off, you know, take it up with 2K, all right? So I thought the best way to start this video off was to use Stephen Curry, who has a 99 three-pointer. And this is what Stephen Curry's jump shot, and to no surprise, is pretty nasty. And I've used this step build a lot this year, and I don't think I've ever just used a pure Stephen Curry release yet. Hey, look at us getting stops in the paint. All right, so let's see if he leaves us open. We are Steph Curry, which is the only hard part about this. First shot. That's kind of... Yeah, like, dude, I think that's fast. I, like I said, I've never used a Steph Curry jump shot yet. I know a lot of people are telling me to use Stephen Curry's release on this build, but I don't know, man. I just haven't been used to it. Yoink. We'll take that. Oh, and we'll take the jump shot, too. Oh, you can really tell from that side that it just looks just not visually appealing for some reason. Now, right, let's keep going. Let's click up right here. <sighs> We'll pull that. He leaves us open. He left us too open. Okay, let me find out. I know we have the 99 three-pointer, but this release really isn't as bad as I remembered. All right, well, now we have to go up against Lock Tech. This guy's reaching like crazy as well. Like I said, we look like Steph Curry, so obviously he's not going to be leaving us too wide open, but we just need a little bit of room anyway, and we'll be able to green. Can we hit him with a little fade? The little fade is for some reason Steph's release with his like just animation just looks so good. It's like I've scored really quick with these, but like he's taking forever. That's the annoying part. A little hop jumper backwards. A little Steph hop jumper. <laughs> That's exactly what we needed. All right, so far I'm liking this jump shot. Triple threat move. And hit him with one of these. Let's see what the meter's looking like. Can we use the meter with it too? Okay, I was about to say that looked good. That had to go in, right? So I'm rating this pretty high. I don't know why I wasn't using this before. I should have been using this a long time ago. Oh, a little dribble. Dude, I might miss that. Okay, <laughs> he just gave up because I just got past them. He thought I was going to lay it up. But we'll do hop jumpers too. All right, so for the last one, we have to do like a limitless range three just to kind of test it out. I think he kind of gave up though. So let's just test one out from kind of deep, from the logo, from the hash, whatever the case is. Okay, the Stephen Curry jump shot. So far, I know it's the only one we've used, but it's probably going to be the best one. Now, next is going to be the Dallas Mavericks, and surprisingly, it was Luka Doncic with an 87 three-pointer. I thought Kyrie was going to have a higher three, but I guess not. So here's Luka's jump shot. I've used it before, and I just remember it being very slow. But you know what? We are kind of tall, so hopefully we can get this jump shot off. Let's see if we'll get it open for a jump shot. That's going to be the tough part, getting open. A lot of guys like to play kind of high. Here we go. First one. Need it. Dude, I got to remember to change my green celebration. But green in the first shot is always nice. I was really surprised. I haven't used this jump shot in a very long time. As you guys know, I haven't played in this Luka build in a minute either. Let's see. Can we go two for two, though? Yes, we can. <laughs> and we already got dual takeover. This is actually very surprising. I also have Luka's hop jumper on. I think that's kind of why he has that 87 three-pointer. Because 2K just loves his little hop jumpers. So let's see if we can just get one of these off real quick. Can we get that too? And we can. It wasn't a three-pointer, but it was still green. And you can really tell with this jump shot in that animation, it kind of does look like Luca. Let's try it again. Oh my gosh, he jumped. Oh my gosh, he jumped and we greened it. He thought we were going to step back for three. Dude, we really haven't been missing. This is kind of crazy. I did not expect this. I thought this was going to be hard just because this jump shot is kind of weird. Can we get another one though? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We tried a little bit too deep. We get our own rebound, corner pocket. We'll get it back to go in though. The corner three as well. This honestly is not a bad jump shot. Oh my gosh, the step back is so easy to time. I think it's just because it's slow, but man, this is actually so easy. This is kind of surprising. Another little step back. You thought we were going to shoot that first one. Oh, my gosh. Okay, we need to shoot some more three-pointers, though. Let's do two more threes to at least end it. Oh, my gosh. That goes in. Oh, my gosh. Dude, I, this is, like I said, this is actually so surprising because I thought this jump shot was just going to be really bad and it's going to be hard in time. But this guy, not really playing the best defense. Can we do a little step back three game winner with Luka? No, we can't. Let me get my inner black cobra, do a couple simple dribble moves. Hit him with a little step back. Three-pointer. Money! 
<laughs> Let's go. Honestly, maybe they got it right. Maybe Luka does have the best three-pointer on the maps. <laughs> Next is going to be Kawhi Leonard with the Clippers, which apparently has an 85 three-pointer according to 2K. And since I'm doing all the NBA teams, you guys let me know down below in the comment section, is this the best three-point shooter on your team? Because honestly, I thought Paul George was going to have a higher three. And this is going to be the jump shot that we are using. For some reason, I couldn't get a Kawhi Leonard base, but we're going to be using both of his releases, which I still think is pretty good. Like, this doesn't make sense. I don't know why I can get both of his releases, but I can't get his base. But let's try a little, little spin back, a little jump shot. First one. Miss. That's not good. Usually we make them. Give me that. I'm not too worried about it, though, because this build has amazing defense. Might just have to take a dog out. <laughs> I think this is the first shot I took a dunk at this. It's just because I don't have the Gatorade. We'll get hit one. Please, please let us hit one. Please, 2K. We're tired. Dude, it's just because I'm so tired. Probably should have done my Gatorade drills, but look, we already have sharpshooting takeover, so hopefully this will help us out a little bit. I'm not doing this jump shot justice at all. It's just because I'm so tired when I've been shooting. We finally green one, but we're shooting 20%. It's because I don't have Gatorade. Honestly, this is bad because this jump shot is actually pretty solid. I feel like it's not getting its due diligence here. Let's try another one. Can we get another green real quick? Another green real quick. Yes, we can. I know we got sharpshooting takeover, but honestly, try doing this. Get open on the 1v1 galleon and then try to shoot with only one Gatorade bar. It's a whole lot harder than it looks. And we got three back to back to back now. A little fade, a little dribble pull up. Okay, all right. See, we have to test all the jump shots here. I know it's three pointers, but you know what? We got to test everything out a little bit. Dude, how many times am I going to be able to get this guy with this? Come on, we got to green another one. Yes, sir. I like it. Come on, get in there. Come on. Yes, sir. The, the Kawhi Leonard releases at least look really good. So for game, it's only right if we hit a little dribble pull up in the corner, I think. Try to replicate that game winner, you know. So we just do a little hezzy and then just run straight to that corner for the game. Bang! <laughs> it wasn't a three-pointer, but it still got the job done. Honestly, I kind of like this jump shot. I probably would have used this all year long on this build because it's pretty clean. Now for the Phoenix Suns, you guessed it. Kevin Durant has the highest three-point rating with an 87 on the team. This is going to be the jump shot that we're using for Kevin Durant and it does not look too quick at all. And we're six foot ten, so our jump shot's already going to be a little slow. And yes, I'm rocking a Mikael Bridges jersey. You know, 2K, it does awful jobs at putting the new jerseys in the game. Have I started with the ball in any of these so far? Oh my gosh, that has to be so early. It is. Jeez, this jump shot is slow. <laughs> I guess we'll just have the bullion once. If I can get open here, I'll show you guys how slow this jump shot is. Like, look, honestly, I tried to time that as best as I could, and it was still just that slow. We're taller than him. That's got to go in. <laughs> Yo, that's only 9%. Thank goodness we're six foot ten. Not good. Okay, well, that should be good, though. How does that not go in, but the other one does? All right, it looks like we're the drop step. Oh, my gosh. Was that, like, that almost looked like a big man contact dunk. Okay, I just have to hold it a whole lot longer than I thought. I'm shooting a whopping two for seven. Yeah, this jump shot's tough. Hit him a little spin back, at least. Another one over those, please. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's low-key letting us shoot it, but bro, this jump shot is so slow. I kind of need him to let me shoot it. See if we can just fade this one. Oh, come, I don't know. I don't know. That might not be good. It's not. I do. I cannot shoot with this. Come on, get in there. <laughs> That's pretty tough, actually. Let's see what it looks like in the little post-hop shot, then. Like, look how slow that is, dude. And I barely greened that. Now we have takeover for the last one. We should be able to shoot kind of deep. I can't remember. I gotta start looking at my badges. I don't know if I have Limitless on silver yet on this build. But that's pretty deep. For game. Break. We have the green of three. For game. Please let us get one. Nope. Dude, I can't get the jump shot off. I'm shooting 25% from three. Big move. Please, please. Dude. Actually, I don't know. We might have to do a quick drop. All right. So I took my fair share of three-pointers with this. I went four for 17. And Kevin Durant's like one of the best shooters in the NBA. So it's either user error or this jump shot's just awful. Maybe a combination of both. Now for the new look Brooklyn Nets, of course, we've got Mikael Bridges with the best three-point shot with an 86. And Mikael Bridges is known for having kind of a weird jump shot. So this is the jump shot that we're going to be using. We finally get a start with the ball first too. So let's try to see what this looks like. 
Oh my gosh, that's fast, bro. That's actually kind of quick. That's a late. Okay. All right, so I've never used this jump shot before. So we have to see what we can do. We have to make sure we can get ourselves open. So whatever it takes to get open, you can tell from that release right there that looks exactly like his. And that's early. Okay, that's good to know. Come on, give me one. Give me one. Thank goodness. Dude, from the top, you could really just tell that looks like Bridges. Now, let's see if we can get a little spin back. We got to get in our bag real quick, man. Because, like... Oh, here we go. Here's another one. Dude, that actually looks so clean, bro. This is actually kind of fun. Because a lot of these releases and just bases in general, I kind of haven't used, like, all year long. Oh, yeah. From the corner. Oh, yeah. From the corner, too. Come on, right there, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Come on. We got to test the mid-range out, too. Let's see if we can get at least two more three-pointers off this. Try to do a little bit of a different spot, too. Let's see if we can shoot kind of deep. Maybe one right here. Maybe one right there, just for the road. Nope. Yeah, that's a spot right there. Why does it kind of look like I levitate when I shoot? A little spin back. From the logo, kind of. Kind of deep from the hash. I don't know why I keep saying from the logo. But Mikael Bridges. Low key, I kind of like this jumper. Now, Buddy Hill with the Pacers has the highest three point rating with an 89. His jump shot actually looks really good. Get ourselves open. This guy's kind of playing high. We have to be good at the game. Stop and pop. Money, let's go. That actually looks pretty clean from top of the key. I think when I start shooting from the wings and like the corners and stuff, I kind of like mess myself up and like psych myself out a little bit. So I just like look at the right, wrong cues, I think. Oh, there's another one. Oh. <laughs> There we go. We're getting used to it. Corner shot. The first corner shot. Okay, I thought I was going to shoot that a little bit late. But now we have our takeover. So we can kind of pull anything now. And I did put on limitless range on silver. Because I know I can shoot kind of deep on here. If I kind of stand back like right here maybe. Dude, he contested that? He's really coming out all the way to contest that. All right. Now I know. Oh, yeah. Spin back. Money need that. That's too easy. With shot creating and sharpshooting takeover. Come on now. Come on, get in there. Yes, let's go. That's why I like using shot credit takeover. I want to shoot one from deep, but he's like really just guarding me. I know I've shot it pretty much every single time, but he's like guarding me kind of high, which makes sense. But still got to get open somehow. Oh, yeah, come on. Okay, okay, there we go. I'm liking this jump shot, dude. Oh, contested. <laughs> it's about time. I've shot like three of them. I think I was just due. And the fade for the game. It was a two-pointer, but you know what? The buddy healed jump shot. I actually like this. And it's actually worth it because this guy has an 89 three-pointer in the game. So, of course, he's going to have one of the better jump shots. Now, as I'm recording this video, Damian Lillard is still on the Trailblazers. And, of course, he has the best jump shot on his team with an 89 rating. It low-key kind of seems low, but his jump shot, of course, is one of the better ones in the game. So, this shouldn't be too difficult. Now, let's test it out. First jump shot, we're going to use his escape just to get ourselves open. Is he going to leave us open, though? Don't do that. We're Damian Lillard. We're not, we're not... Okay, I was about to say, we're not going to miss that. Honestly, I don't even care if he just sits in the paint. Let's see how far we can shoot. You know, we're due for one of these games, right? We're due for a game where they're just going to leave us open. Open. I'm not too mad at it. Plus, we just did a video with Damian Lillard, so it's not like I haven't had a lot of gameplay on this build. So if you guys, oh my gosh, that was deep. If you missed some Damian Lillard gameplay, go check out that video. It'd be kind of impressive, low key, if I just don't miss, right? If I just don't miss a shot, come on now. This is actually a good jumper. Before, I wasn't really using his releases because I didn't really like them, but you know what? I might start using these releases now. This is kind of easy. This is just a little bit too easy. I know he's not playing any defense, but we're shooting deep. That's from really deep. Oh my gosh. We're just not going to miss. I don't want to jinx it, but we're not missing. We're shooting as deep as we can in the galleon. I think right here without chucking it, perhaps. Oh, uh, of course I missed. We got to make this. Let's try it with the meter again. Okay, that if that one goes in. Dude, <laughs> that's ridiculous. That's the one that goes in, but the one before it did it. But Damian Lillard's jump shot with his releases is pretty nice. Now, Jalen Green for the Houston Rockets has the highest three, but it's only an 82, which is kind of low. Hey, have you guys seen that uh, that one Jalen Green video? But this is his jump shot. It's not that great. It's kind of like mid, so we'll see how it actually works. I don't know how good it'll actually be, but probably not good enough to just fade. Look at, look at me running for my rebound knowing I'm going to miss. Come on, give me one. 
Yes, let's go. Dude, I, for some reason, I'm just making the corner shots. And usually that's like the most difficult shot to do. Get a dunk real fast. It's a quick contact dunk. I think that might be our first one doing this. See like a fade with a jump shot. Is that good? Yeah, okay. We can make that. And honestly, it does look a lot different. I used to think like dribble pull-ups are the same no matter what. But the jump shot definitely matters for the dribble pull-up as well. <laughs> okay now we have our takeover shooting 29 percent from three so honestly not the best performance i guess but <laughs> you know what we're trying our best maybe this sharp shooting takeover will help us out a little bit it will easy green come on yes let's go i was saying like sometimes i feel like when i'm using jump shots i kind of look at it too much visually so it kind of messes me up so i gotta kind of stop doing that there we go that's good right that has to be good <laughs> I'm shooting four from 13 from three. I know Jalen Green has one of the lower three-pointers for this, but bro, I cannot be shooting like that. All right, here we go. Green, all right, we need to do one more. 33% from three is not going to cut it. All right, so not the best performance for Jalen Green's jump shot, so we have to end it with a green, right? Please make one. One green. Hey, thank goodness. We shot six for 17 honestly this jump shot i don't know if it's just me but uh not one of the better ones so tyler here for the miami heat has the highest at an 86 three-point rating and his jump shot's actually pretty good the release speed's actually kind of fast all right so let's see if we can get ourselves open this time using this jumper i don't know how i'm gonna feel about it i've never used a tyler hero jump shot before but that actually looks pretty clean. I like this one so far. I know it's only the first shot, but just visually, it looks a whole lot better than at least Jalen Green. The Jalen Green one did not look good at all. Let's see if we can fade with it too. Can we fade with it? No. Typical fashion, I make my first one and then I miss the next like four. There we go, finally. <laughs> I just had to make two. Now I got takeover. Hopefully I can start actually making these. I've been missing every single shot, it feels like. Can we make another one? Thank goodness. That's from kind of D too. Been, like he can't score, so he, <laughs> he just flops in the paint. All right, like I said, I don't care if people sit in the paint during this. I'm just trying to get the jump shot off. So if I can get the jump shot off and see how good it actually can be, that's all I'm aiming for. Well, that's no contest there. Ooh, ooh, there we go. If that's contest, I'm gonna be mad. All right, wide open, that's good. Keep Come on, Tyler. Come on, hero. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Now that I kind of got the hang of this, this is pretty nice. For three. Oh! <laughs> the game winner with that jump shot celebration. All right. Tyler Heroes wasn't too bad. We started off kind of slow, but then ended up going seven for 11. That's pretty good. Next for the Sacramento Kings, my guy, Kevin Herter, has the highest three-point rating with an 87. This is an Atlanta Hawks legend, so I got to show out. Also, Herter's jump shot's pretty solid, so I don't feel like we'll have a tough time doing this. All right. First shot with the Kevin Herter jumper. Let's see what it's looking like. Does that look like Kevin Herter? I don't know, but hey, we're greening it. But this is not going to be one of those traditions. I usually green the first shot, and then I miss like four in a row. So that's not going to happen this time, all right? We're going to start making these shots. We're going to make all of them. Yoink. All right, we'll take that. And hit a step back with it. Can we hit a step back? Yes, we can. Just two baskets, a rebound, and a steal. We've got takeover. I feel like this low key is like a cheat code. But you know what? It doesn't matter. We're testing the jump shot out, oh, oh, oh. and we're greening. I'm glad Kevin Herter's getting the respect he needs, because he was, he's a hooper, man. So I'm glad he's on the Kings, hooping it up this year, playing well on a good team. And the jump shot itself is pretty solid. All right, let's go where Kevin Herter's the most comfortable, in the corner. That looks like Kevin Herter. Now that I'm seeing it from the corner, it's starting to bring back a little bit of the memories. Kind of deep. Kind of deep, Kevin Herter. It doesn't matter, though. Okay, I like this jump shot a lot. This is actually pretty good. Bring back bad memories to 76ers fans. Right over Seth Curry. Right over Seth Curry. Dribble pull-up game. Easy bucket. Honestly, this Kevin Herter jump shot might be my favorite one of you so far. Now, for the Detroit Pistons, Alec Burks has the highest three-point rating with an 87. Here's his jump shot. I'm not going to lie to you and sit here and just say I know a lot about Alec Burks. All I remember is that he absolutely torched the Hawks in the playoffs when he was on the Knicks a few years ago. And that's not a great start. Also, please ignore this face creation. And believe it or not, there's not really any Alec Burks face creation <laughs> tutorials out there. All right, come on. Go, give me one. Give me one. Thank goodness. I have to hold this down a whole lot longer since it is a B minus release speed. You can definitely tell how much slower these are. It's just I get so like confused. Like, I don't know if I can shoot half of these just because how slow these jump shots are. Dude, that's probably early too. Let's combo up a little bit. This is like prime Utah Jazz Alec Burks right here. Come on, make that one. Get in there. Thank goodness. Dude, you really do have to hold this down for a long time. But we got to take over now. So this should give us a little bit of confidence going right here. A little spin back. Uh, uh, uh. 
All right, we have to take another little layup, maybe. You know what? Not too mad at it. This guy is playing kind of high. You know what? When in doubt, hit him with a signature move. This isn't a 2K23 video. If we don't hit him with a signature move, shooting 75%. This is good. Nah, let's keep it going. Let's see what a little dribble pull-up looks like. Did he give up? No, but you can tell, dude. Even the dribble pull-ups are so much slower when you have a slow jump shot. Oh my gosh, did I just break this guy? <laughs> if I hit this too now... <laughs> Dude, I don't even know what I just did right there. Uh, I guess he just gave up. Uh, we'll take the shot, though. What if we shoot from three? Five for seven, eight for 11 total for a B minus release speed? Yeah, I think I'll take that. Ori Markkinen with the Jazz has the highest three-point rating with an 84. It was interesting to see Laurie go from the Bulls where everybody thought he was a bust, and then they ran like four centers at one point with the Cavs, and then he got traded to the Jazz and became an all-star. Now, Laurie's jump shot doesn't look the worst, but it's going to be kind of difficult to get off just because of how tall this build is, and that's not a good start at all. I thought I could dribble off that. Hey! <laughs> We'll take a quick dunk. His jump shot's a little bit slow, but since we're seven foot tall, it's all also harder just to get jump shots like this off. So let's see if can we get one. Oh my gosh, we can. Let's go. Good. If he's gonna leave us open, I will take this all day. This is actually really good. Just keep leaving us open, please. I don't care. Look, we got one steal, two threes. We've got takeover. Dude, I haven't dribbled on a bit like this in a minute. Oh my gosh, if we can keep hitting the <laughs> We can keep hitting these. Hey, leave me open. I don't care. So let's go to the post, actually. A little post hop shot. Oh, <laughs> the post hop shot, too. So let's go one time in here, and then one of these, and then back, and then the Jokic hop jumper with the meter. The Jokic hop jumper with the meter. Now I remember how much I like playing on this build. Why does he keep leaving us open? Like, I haven't just been shooting this with ease. For game. <laughs> <laughs> didn't even have to time it right at all but for a seven footers jump shot Lori Markkinen's not bad at all either now Brandon Ingram on the Pelicans has the highest three-pointer with an 84 three-point rating and Ingram's jump shot is a little bit slower so we got to make sure we're getting ourselves open now, let's see what we got ourselves going into we'll start off with a little hob jumper all right that, that's clean that's easy we'll combo up a little bit he's gonna leave us open I feel like Try one from right here. Okay, that's a little slow, but it doesn't matter. We're still greening it. It's always good. Honestly, I feel like when you start getting used to these slower shots, they're easier to time, which makes sense because they're a little bit slower. All right, that's kind of deep. Oh, <laughs> there we go. All right, look, we're greening. I don't want to jinx it again, but we're greening everything with takeover now, hopefully. Please don't tell me this is when I start missing, right? All right, if he's playing high, we might have to, you know, get in our bag a little bit more. Start hitting with little hop jumpers and stuff like that. Well, that might be off though. Ooh, a little quick 10% contested. Okay. Still got to combo up though, because he is playing high like I was, I was saying before. But if we can get him with these little step backs and spin backs, we should be able to get the jump shot off, even if it's a little bit slower. That might be good. Ooh, that was actually really deep. I had to hold that for a lot longer. Now we might just be able to hit a little step back game winner for the cheese. For the cheese. Bang! <laughs> Let's go with no takeover. I, I hate to say it, but we called it. Shot 50%. We made the first two, and then we got takeover and shot worse. But you know what? Brandon Ingram's jump shot for a slow one, not bad either. Now, OG Ananobi for the Raptors has the highest three-point rating, only at an 82. With Fred Van Fleet having a bad shooting gear, I guess OG had the best. Now, here's his jump shot with an 82 three-point rating. This jumper is actually pretty good. It has a good speed, at least. Yeah, can we get the first one? <laughs> he misses the contact dunk off the post spin, and I make the jump shot. We'll take that. Grab the dunk one down real quick. We're gonna have the dunk one down real quick. Oh, well, we gotta get ourselves open somehow. Let's see, please. Bang, let's go. <laughs> With these bad animations, it's gonna be tough to get ourselves open. I probably should start checking these. There we go. That's a good little step back. That's a good little step back. We'll take that too. We don't have any of our regular animations. We don't have a good escape. Actually, we do have a good escape. That's a good open three-point shot. We have to start making more threes. I've only shot in two, but if we can get four off, I feel like that's a pretty good sample size. But he knows we want to shoot, dude. That's the only downside. He knows we are trying to shoot the basketball. So if he knows we want to shoot, we might have to try out fadeaway or something right here. Yeah, see, look, a little dribble pull up. All right, a dribble pull up with OG is nice. Do another little dribble pull up. Like, that's so easy. Dude, you're trying to guard my three. I have more in my bag than that. All right, we got a little bit of takeover left. Let's see if we can kind of finesse him with this. Little triple threat action. 
Oh my gosh, yeah, that's easy. That's money. We didn't get a lot of three-point shots up just because he was playing kind of high, but we did get some dribble pull-ups. We got some hob jumpers down. Although OG Ananobi has one of the lower three-point ratings, his jump shot's pretty solid. Now we're going with my guy Ice Trey. Trey Young for the Hawks, who has an 84 three-point rating. And since Trey has a crazy range, his jump shot's actually looking pretty good too. I'm also trying a lot of different Trey Young animations, so if we can hit some spin shots and other things like that, that would be pretty nice. Speaking of weird bases, I know Trey Young has like the weirdest one. Please go in. I need that. I need it. All right, let's go. Shoot it at 33%. All right, I cannot be missing these. Oh, I missed that. Okay, let's go. Get a little hop jumper action in here. Oh, yeah, here we go. There we go. Okay, look, I'm just what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do a little bit of everything. All of Trey Young's animations is what we're trying to get off here. Can we dribble dribble pull up action? Can we grab the dribble pull up? Yep, easy. There's another like wraparound animation that I know people like to use. See if I can get that off. Oh my gosh. Step back. Did I just hit a white? That's the first white I think of the video. Another one. Another one. Hop jumper. Okay, the hop jumper is actually really clean. So let's get this rebound and just run it out and see how far back we can shoot. That's pretty deep. <laughs> it doesn't matter though. This is Trey Young. Please get in. Thank goodness. Why could I, dude? For some reason, Trey Young every single year. If you guys have been following the video since like 2K21, always gives me the hardest time. But we got it done, and the jump shot itself, I'm not gonna lie, is not too good. Now for the Timberwolves, we have Jaden McDaniels with the highest three-point rating, with an 83 on the team. Now I don't remember too much about Jaden McDaniels because I'm not a huge Timberwolves fan. I do remember he like punched the wall or something and like missed the rest of the season. And I know Timberwolves fans weren't too happy. All right, like I said, don't know how this jump shot looks. Also, I didn't remember putting this in the beginning but the jump shots kind of low kind of slow for a guy that has the highest three-point rating you would think his jump shot would be a little bit faster maybe he's more of a catch-and-shoot guy so a lot of these guys are catch-and-shoot people so like their jump shots aren't supposed to be the quickest but it's just tough like it's tough to get oh my gosh I thought I was gonna airball that why did that look so far to the left when I shot it please give me one please oh my gosh thank goodness Try a little step back to the side, a little Jason Tatum to the side. There we go. Gotta hit, I gotta hit one. One stand still three and I'll be okay. That should be good, right? That should be good. Okay, finally, he left us open. Might have to do the oldest trick of the book, a quick little triple threat sides up to him to escape just real fast, just real fast. That might be off too, dude. I don't know, for some reason, just this looks like very bad visually. I think it's kind of messed me up. If we hit that shot. <laughs> That's the first time I hit something like that with a spin shot, and it was with like one of the slowest jumpers. That's kind of crazy. Come on, please. Yes, let's go. <laughs> the LeBron escape. I knew this was going to be smart. When you have a slower jump shot, use the LeBron escape, and a lot of times you can kind of get it off. Come on. Dribble pull up. Slow dribble pull up. Yes. <laughs> go 22 11 with a slower jump shot on a six foot nine we still had four three pointers shot 50 percent so not at the worst jump shot at the end of the day now if you would have guessed patrick williams to have the highest three point rating on the bulls you'd be correct he has an 85. i know lonzo was shooting it pretty well before he got injured but i did not expect patrick williams to have the highest three point rating i'm not gonna lie his jump shot looks like this so i don't really know what to expect it looks decent i guess i forgot to put sharp shooting takeover on this if i get an ankle breaker on this this will be insane. I don't even know what the badges are, to be honest with you. Let's try it. Oh my. Look, dude, what did I say? Why do I always green the first jump shot the first time using it? It makes no sense at all. Can we go two for two? Oh my. We're going two for two. Like, after I've greened two threes. Oh, no way, right? <laughs> Bro, this is actually so surprising. Just because, like, looking at it, every single time I've greened one so far, I thought I've missed it, to be honest. What about a little hop jumper? A little hop jumper, too? Dude. Hmm. Let me find out. Let me find out Patrick Williams has the best jump shot. No way. <laughs> Bro. I'm literally four for four from three right now. I think he gave up. I think he gave up. But honestly, I was very surprised that we were making all those that early. I started to miss some towards the end, and we still broke 50%. I was trying some crazy stuff. For a pretty mid-jump shot, really not too bad of a result. Isaiah Joe of the Oklahoma City Thunder had a 40% from three shooting year to give him an 86 three-point rating this year. Another jump shot I've never used, so let's see how it works. First shot is just going to leave us? Okay, that 
Hmm, okay, all right, that looks kind of decent, actually. It looks smooth. Another one wide open, green, all right. Can we, I don't know if we've had a game yet where I haven't missed from three. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't watch too many Thunder games, so I don't know exactly how Isaiah Joe plays, but you know what? The jump shot looks pretty smooth. Got dual takeover. Let's see if we can still shoot some pretty deep threes. Shot 40%, so I mean, look, I mean, that's pretty clean, man. It doesn't get too much smoother than that. Like I've been saying, there's jump shots that just look visually good, and this is definitely one of them. <laughs> Where you go? Oh, yeah. See? Yeah. 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 This might be my favorite one so far. Still haven't missed from three yet. That's. I think this will be the first one that we haven't missed from three if we don't miss. Oh, my gosh. Another one. This is easy. Isaiah Joe. Let me find out. Snatch bag. Escape. We can shoot this. If we make this with Isaiah Joe. Oh. <laughs> Isaiah Joe, seven for seven. Now, I know I've been left open, but still shooting seven for seven with a jump shot you've never used before? That's pretty impressive. So, Svi Mikhailuk was the Hornets' best three-point shooter this year with an 86 three-point rating. If he shot almost 43% from three, why does 2K have him with, like, one of the slowest jumpers ever? And yes, there is no Svi Mikhailuk face creations on YouTube. All right, cut me some slack. If I can get any of these jump shots off, I'll be very surprised. That's the <laughs> That's the timing. What is that jump shot? If I green that. <laughs> okay. Let me find out. 25% from three. I do not know how I'm timing this. But uh, yeah, if we can just get one more bucket, we can get takeover. And then maybe, just maybe, just maybe, we can start hitting some threes. This is honestly more than I thought I was going to make. To be real, this is more than I thought I was going to make already. Oh my gosh. Is that another one? <laughs> Is that another one? 50% from three. We'll take it. Another one. Another one. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. I'm finally getting the timing down. Dude, I didn't think I was going to win this game because it is so difficult to shoot on this build. Come on. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, my gosh. Dude, the lock take is really that guy. Come on. With a spin back. Oh, that's early, bro. Can we hit a step back in the corner? Oh my gosh, so that's good, right? Yes! <laughs> I don't even want to know how many shots I just put up. We went 6 for 13. Honestly, that's better than I expected. Why do we have one of the best three-point shooters in the NBA this past year with a D-plus speed jump shot? Now, Tyrese Maxey had a career year shooting the three-point shot for the 76ers to give himself an 85 three-point rating. When you have a slow jump shot like Maxey, you kind of have to utilize the spin shots, the hop jumps, and all that. So hopefully that's something that we can do. Let's see if we can get ourselves open. Slow jump shot on a small build is never a good, good combination. That should be good, right? Come on. Yes, let's go. <laughs> Again, how many times have I made the first jump shot on a build? Come on. Another one. Bang, let's go. It's slow, but like I said, the slower the jump shot, for some reason, the easier it is to time. I know that's kind of like a thing, but honestly, it's true, man. It's so easy to time this jumper. Like, look at this. There's nothing worse than having to play defense on guys like this. They all play the same. The amount of people I played guys that play exactly like this is a little, little crazy. That's a good one. I know that feels good, dude. I can tell the jump shot, though. I can tell if I'm going to green it or not. All right, we might have to fade one, bro. We just have to run and fade at least one of these. All right, there we go. That's only a two, though. But, bro, there's so many of these shots that I just need to make. Another spin back. Oh, yeah. Lost them. Lost them in the sauce. Let's go green. Another one. I need to break somebody's ankles, bro. This guy's ankles needs to be taken. Oh, my gosh. Oh! <laughs> Oh my gosh, let's go. Yeah, I just call like I see it. And it's a little off dribble. Come on. A little off dribble. That's easy. A little off dribble. Come on. Now, I've been watching Tyrese Maxey a lot in the playoffs. He had some crazy, like, step backs and game winners. So let's try one right here. That should be good, right? That should be good, right? Count them. Three. Doesn't matter if it's step back, standstill shots, or fades. Tyrese Maxey's jump shot gets the job done. KCP with the Nuggets was a big reason they were able to win a championship this year. So we have him with an 87 three-point rating on 2K. But his jump shot was like stuck behind some weird wall. Like he had to be six foot five and he had to have an 84 three-point rating, something like that. So we had to make our own custom jump shot. You guys let me know how this looks. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. Keep testing the boundaries. I don't care. Like I said before, if he leaves me open, he leaves me open. I'm just trying to test the jumper. Ooh, yeah, dude. This actually looks like Caldwell Pope, I think. Got the knee bend, a little bit of the elbow kind of flaring out. Just enough. 
Like, look at that. I mean, like, tell me that doesn't look like KCP. Now, let's try to go to the corner because he shoots a lot of corner threes. Does that look like Caldwell Pope? Maybe that will help you spark your memory a little bit. Pass from Jokic, kind of spotted up deep. And it doesn't matter. Wow, we actually made that. I thought we missed. And the buzzer had to force something up at the last second. Step back, corner shot. KCP knocking it down. You know what? Like I said, I don't care if they're not playing defense. This video is more so to show off the jump shot. And I think this custom one looks pretty good for KCP. Corey Kispert shot extremely well for the Wizards last season, giving him an 86 three-point rating. Now, as a Hawks fan, I know this guy can shoot, but I don't know about this jump shot. It's going to have to show me something. Finally, starting with the ball first. It's about time. And honestly, like I said, I... Ew. Oh, I made that. But at this point, I guess I shouldn't be surprised because I've been making, like, every first shot for some reason. Another one. Left wide open. What is... <laughs> that weird kick is this gonna be another one that we just go flawless and just can't miss that'd be so surprising to be honest oh what are you jumping at buddy what are you i think he's gone he might have quit dude honestly i don't actually i don't know i don't know if he missed or he moved or not all right so we had a lot of standstill shots we gotta see what it's looking like step backs and all that as well you can just tell from that release right there yeah I, I don't know Ooh, let me find out. Like I said, a lot of these jump shots might not be the quickest. And I've said this a million times. The slower ones are a little bit easier to time. But also, it's something with like just the visual cue on this jump shot. It's actually very clean. Very simple to pick up. Even off the meter, dude. Like, it's easy. Let's see if we do like a little triple threat something going right here. If I can do like a triple threat, size them up, and then spin back this way and hit a green. Dude, that should not have been green. That's what I'm talking about. Like, dude, if all greens go in and that's a green, I don't know. So simple little fadeaway for the game. And hit it. Corner three. Easy. Corey Kispers jump shot for some reason. It's kind of nice. Donovan Mitchell has turned himself into one of the best three-point shooters in the NBA. And he has an 88 three-point rating with the Cavs. I'm going to be very surprised if this jump shot is bad because it looks so clean. I see what we got here. If we have ourselves a three, we're going to have to take it pretty early. Oh my, oh my gosh, this is, oh wow, this felt really good. I don't know why that caught me off guard, but for some reason that just felt so smooth. That's good, right? Oh man, why does this look so clean? 10%, it doesn't matter. We might actually shoot a little fade. We might even shoot a little dribble pull up. That might help us out. We've got the takeover. We should be able to shoot deep threes now. Has he... Oh, I think he gave up. He might be done. He might be done, but I'm not going to lie to you. I know it says 38% from three. I was trying to do like some spin shots and stuff like that. This might be one of the cleanest jump shots I've used on this build. Like a six foot one Donovan Mitchell. Nobody really told me to use this. I don't know why. To be able to kind of hit one of these in his mitt. <laughs> Bro, I don't care. It's hard to get that shot off on an AI. You guys let me know what you think about this jump shot with Donovan Mitchell. This one might be the one. Now, if you were to guess Javon Carter to have the highest three-point rating for the Bucks, you'd guess correctly. He has an 86 on 2K. A career high in minutes and a career high in three-point percentage. And this is the jump shot we're giving him 2K? Come on, you got to be better than that. This jump shot has got a very bad release, so we really got to be open to shoot this. We got to be really open to be able to shoot this just like that. I feel like he's not going to get got by the spin back again, though. So let's go this way. Ooh. See if we can get this off right here. Please. Oh, that's, see, like, that's what I'm saying, dude. Like, I had a step on him, and it still was contested. Oh, yeah, a little step back. See, look, sometimes you got to do that, too, because the standstill shots are going to be few and far between. Well, maybe he will get got with that a few more times. Look how slow that is when your stamina goes low, though. All right, so... From deep, no way. Woo! <laughs> From deep two with a Javon Carter jump shot. If you told me I would have been doing this in the beginning of 2K, uh, I, I would have called you a liar. Still cannot get myself open at all. We have to shoot like a fadeaway or a hop jumper or something and then try to get a three off. I just can't get a shot off with this jump shot, guys. It's very difficult. If you haven't tried a Javon Carter jump shot, I'm not even going to tell you to try it. Just don't. Just believe me. It's tough. I look how easy this is if I really wanted to. to just go get a dunk. If I really wanted to, just go get the dunk. All right, Javon Carter, I do not recommend using this jump shot unless you want to shoot two for 14 from the field. Be my guest. Now, Jalen Brunson's first year in New York, he shot great, giving him a three-point rating of an 85. Now, Knicks fans, don't get mad at me, all right? I know I have a Starks jersey on for some reason. I think Brunson is the best player on the Knicks, and they don't even have his jersey in the store yet. But his jump shot looks very good. I'm eager to try this out. The only thing that kind of stinks is that I'm also right-handed. Come on, that should be good, right? Ooh, wait, 
think that's fast. Look, if I was using the Javon Carter jump shot right there, that would have been sent to like New York. Give me that. And we're gonna have to go lay it up. Honestly, if I can get sharpshooting takeover, that's gonna help us even more. Oh yeah, that's clean. That feels good. Now, this jump shot's really nice. If you guys use Jalen Bronson's base this year, because it looks super smooth. See what the little step back looks like. I should get a three off the step back. Should get a three off the step back. It was a two-pointer, but it was still green. We'll take it. Oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. That's clean, man. I like Jalen Brunson's base. I didn't think I was going to like it, really. Let's see if it's good with the fade. Is it a good with the fade, too? Yes, it is. This is a good base. I would recommend using Jalen Bronson. No way, right? Oh my goodness. Jalen Brunson base. If you guys are looking for one, I don't know, late in the year and you're on a small guard, try using this one out. Now, obviously, Desmond Bain was the best three-point shooter for the Grizzlies. He has an 89 three-point rating on the game. And Desmond Bain has one of those weird jump shots. So, of course, the only build I could use it on was the skinniest and the one with the longest arms. Kind of like the complete opposite of Desmond Bain. You know what? This jump shot, I don't know. It looks pretty slow. So, I'm not too sure if this is going to be any good. Hopefully, he can just leave us open a few times. Wow, the fact that I made that, I'm actually so surprised. Ew. Oh, he made that. Dude, I don't know why he's leaving me open, but uh, I'm not going to complain. There we go. Finally. Come on. Yes, let's go. This is good. I don't care if he's leaving me open. This looks really weird. I don't know if it's because I have like long arms and I'm skinny. And I know Desmond Bain's not really like that. There we go. That looks a little bit better. That looks kind of nice with a little hop jumper. All right. Another left open three point shot, I guess. Uh, I don't know what this guy's doing. Yeah, I don't know about this jumper. I have used a lot on this build at six foot seven. And uh, yeah, the Desmond Bain jump shot. I'm not too sure about. But again, it's another one of those jumpers that's just easy to time if you're open. Come on, get in there for me. One more for the one time. Thank goodness, little snatch back. That looks really weird, but I definitely can tell with a shorter wingspan that definitely will look like Desmond Bain. Now, Max Christie led the Lakers in three-point percentage last year, and he was on a two-way contract, but he has an 86 three-point rating in the game. He doesn't have his own custom jump shot in the game, so this is the one that we're going to be using. The one that it said that he had on the roster was like a David West base with default swing releases, which you just can't get. He didn't get put into too many games, so we got the warm-up gear on too. That's such a random base to give a player. Guys, that watches the Lakers a lot. Let me know down below in the comment section. Does Matt Christie have a David West base? Come on, please. Thank you. Come on, man. I gotta start making these jump shots. David West base? I don't feel like anybody has a David West base besides David West. That's kind of insane to give somebody. Come on. Need that jump shot, though. Yes, let's go. Mmm, little step back. Mmm, let me find out. There you go. <laughs> Love me wide open. Appreciate you. Thank you. And Max Christie's jump shot is done just like that. That was the Lakers' best three-point shooter. I thought it was going to be like a D'Angelo Russell or something like that. But uh, maybe the Lakers need to step up next season so we can use somebody else's jump shot. Gary Harris with the Orlando Magic with an 86 three-point rating. I feel bad for him. He got traded from the Nuggets right before they won the championship. But I don't feel bad for using this jump shot because it looks abysmal. I thought this would be an easy challenge because, you know, the best three-point shooters would have the best jump shot. But, boys, look at that. That is not one of the best jump shots in the game. You know what? I'm not mad at it, bro. I'm not mad at it at all. Like I said, I'm just testing the jump shot. I'm simply just doing my part. Why? Dude, I don't understand. Like, I never got that. Like, why would you just give up on defense when you're playing? Like, you just don't... I don't know. This never made sense to me. Look, I, I'm not mad at it, though, because when you're using a Gary Harris jump shot... Does anybody really want to see Gary Harris jump shot? I don't know, man. I just don't get it, but you know what? I'm not going to be too mad. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the Gary Harris jump shot that you all were looking for. Devin Bustle has the highest three-point rating on the San Antonio Spurs with an 83. The jump shot itself just doesn't look good, but it begs the question, what do you guys think Victor Women Yama stats are going to be like? I bet it's higher than an 83. Here we go. Now we can finally test out this last jump shot. We got to make it count. Oh, I just chopped. That's not fair. And I still greeted. it. I'm the best. I don't even care. That's a great way to start it. So we get a stop, a block, and a rebound, and we already got a takeover. This is what I like to see. That hands up defense. It don't matter. You got to come step up, man. Oh, <laughs> yo. 
Oh, dude, I actually tried to do that, dude. That's the crazy part. I knew he was gonna fly by me. Little hop jumper with the meter, easy greens. Like I said, the slower jump shots with the meter just seem so much easier to time. Bang for. <laughs> <laughs> Staying for the whole entire game and leaving at the end. But ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap it up. We went 4-4-11, but we used every single team's best jump shot. You guys let me know down below in the comment section who you thought had the best jump shot. This was a fun challenge. Let me know any other challenges you guys would like to see on the channel. And until next time, it's been your boy Dignify, and I'm out. Peace.